Hi, in this video we will see how to use the virtual parts in SOLIDWORKS. Um, first of all, what's a virtual part in SOLIDWORKS? It's simply a component that is internally safe in the parent assembly. It's not safe in separate files like it used to be. Uh, to show this, uh, just new create an assembly where to place the subassemblies or parts. We will save it. Mm, this, for example, mm, assembly assemble. assemble. How to create a virtual part? As you see, as insert component, a new part. That's a virtual part created. Assembly, just the same. Insert component, new assembly. What happens if we want to create a virtual part from a mm, separate file? Yes. We can insert a component, rows. Um, we will choose this uh, part of one that's already created. We place this in this assembly. Um, as we can see, the difference between um, the first part created, that is part six, uh, in an uh, in assembly sample. And this is just part one. To uh, com convert to um, virtual part, just right click and make virtual. This prompt window uh, advises us about uh, virtual making it uh, component virtuals uh, could break the links between external files. You can say uh, OK. And that's it. Um, Secondly, options is to rename how to use. For example, we will rename this uh, right button, rename part as you see as part part auto. And uh, if we want it, we will insert again the part one. If we wanted to change the name in part 1, we need to open it and save save as save as new name, changing the name to part 3, three for example. We close and we have changed the name. What's the problem with this action? Is that we still have the part one in the hard disk? Uh, what is useful to rename and to create virtual parts when in are you designing from top down design? Why? Because you are using parts that you can easily delete, and nothing in the hard disk is still waiting that you delete manually. Um, another easy option, we will make it virtual. Okay, how to copy and how to move uh, virtual parts? We will create new assembly. Okay, and tile vertically. We can see the original assembly assemble and assembly 10. To copy from this part 6, for example from one assembly to other, just press and move. The same window at with the same advice like copying virtual component to another assembly breaks the link to the original file. Just click OK and that's it. Copy. If what happened if we want to move, just the same and click shift. Uh, that's it. Move. Um, okay. We want them to show another thing more. That's uh, how to save as external. We want to insert a new part, for example. How to save as external? Use right click, right, right button in the mouse. Sorry and says part in a standard file. 
In this window, we have to explain where to save. Save as assembly or specify a path. Uh, we will say same as assembly. Okay. And that's it. It's in. Um, another interesting thing could be how to change this behavior. If we want to create automatically virtual parts, to don't say, well, we'll save. Okay. And this don't. How to change this behavior? Tools, options, and use in here in assemblies. Save new components to stem of files. This is the behavior. We will try new assembly. Okay, insert component, new part. Okay. Now we have to save the assembly before to create to insert the first part. Save and continue. Uh, we'll same with uh, sample sample two. Okay. Um. Again, it asks about where to save the part we will create. Part example. Okay, where to place? Okay, front plane, for example. And that's it. It's really, really easy to work with uh, virtual parts. When is it useful? Again, why is it useful? Because uh, in the top down design, you're usually mm, creating parts, deleting parts, moving parts, arranging some constraints and if you don't do with virtual parts you need to delete it manually. Uh, what another is more easy in virtual parts than in the separate files to rename it as we have seen. For example we will change the behavior again to show this. Insert, insert a new part. Same name as you right click, rename uh, ASDF. <laughs> uh, okay, it's done. And the last thing because it is important is uh, because if we create several instances of the same part for example here four instances we want to make this independent for example it's just right click and make it independent and that's it it's just a separate file that we can change the name to Q W E R and that's it in this video. Thank you. Uh, I hope you found this video useful and I will be happy if you could leave your comments. Thank you.